Africa's cracking, I don't mean this metaphorically, rifts are opening as we speak and a huge part of the continent is about to rip off and drift away, forming a new ocean basin, or so we thought, because thanks to a new study that just appeared, we now know not only just what's causing this, but we also have new clues for what's likely to happen next. Let's have a look. In northeastern Africa, three tectonic plates meet. There's the Arabian plate, the African plate and the Somalian plate. The latter one is still in the process of trying to come into existence and declaring its independence. These plates meet roughly in the shape of a Y. The two upper arms have filled in with water already. That's the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, named after the city of Aden. Though for Americans, it'll soon be renamed to Gulf of Wales the hell even is this. But the north-south going trunk of the Y, so to speak, hasn't yet torn apart. It's called the main Ethiopian rift and in geological terms it's due to open relatively soon in a million years or so. Then a new ocean basin will form in what's now Ethiopia. And things are happening there, man, are they happening? For one thing, it's an active volcanic region with frequent eruptions more remarkable, you can basically watch the ground rip open. Just 20 years ago, a crack appeared beside a volcano in northern Ethiopia and opened southeastwards for almost 60 kilometers. The sides pulled apart by up to 8 meters and in some places the cracks 50 meters deep. Hundreds of goats and other farm animals were reported lost, but luckily there were no human fatalities. But while geoscientists are pretty sure that something dramatic is going to happen there in the next million years or so, it's not clear what. You see, these three rifts are all pulling into different directions at different speeds, and it's hard to predict what stress relief on one rift will do to the others. The new crack, for example, actually doesn't belong to the main Ethiopian rift. It belongs to the Red Sea rift and goes towards the Gulf of Aden rift. A major factor of the uncertainty has been that geologists don't know what causes these rifts to form. One of the leading theories is that there's magma pushing up from deep within Earth and that this heats and weakens the continental crust while also lifting it. Taken together, the weakening and lifting creates cracks. However, the magma might be rising and pushing just in one place or several places. Another idea says that's not what's going on. It's rather just tension caused by all these plates moving, which weakens the crust and magma rises up as a consequence of that, not the other way round. The authors of the new study now used new data from LAFA in these rifts and fed them into the latest seismic models of the upper mantle. They tested the competing scenarios for how well they fit the data and they say that the best fit is the single mantle upwelling that is a huge super plume of magma that pushes up against the crust and then spreads to the sides beneath the three rift arms. And they know where it is. They say that the push is the highest for the Red Sea Rift and the Gulf of Eden Rift. We already knew that these two rifts are opening faster than the main Ethiopian ridge. The one at the Red Sea and the Gulf of Eden open by about two centimeters a year, while the main Ethiopian ridge merely widens by about five millimeters a year, though that's still faster than progress in particle physics. The new study also supports previous findings that say that the crust under the main Ethiopian ridge is several kilometers kilometers thicker. And it now gives us a clue for why that is so. It's possibly because most of the pressure from that magma plume goes to the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden region. In the paper they don't make a prediction for what's going to happen in the future, but my interpretation is that it speaks against the main Ethiopian rift opening quickly. So maybe Africa won't get a new ocean basin after all. Well, don't forget to come back for an update in a million years. Do you know the joke about the two guys running from a bear? Do you really think we'll outrun the bear, says one of them? And the other one says, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. That's how I think about internet safety. I don't have to outsmart hackers. 
I just have to be a little more difficult target than most of you. And that's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations. For example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years because they don't comply with European privacy regulations. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States problem solved. To make use of my special offer, go to nordvpn.com slash Sabine or use the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.